Only on to a story of heartache and faith. Through the tears, Jinx youth pastor Drew Wright finds the words to share his grief after his pregnant wife suddenly passed after Christmas. Days later, his newborn son also died. Two Works View reporter Katie Wisely tells us the incredible story of Shannon Wright and Asa James. When you love what you have, you have everything you need. She was so special. She loved people so well. This smile captured on a mission trip in Kenya made Drew Wright's life more beautiful. I would trade anything in the world. I would take the worst life you could imagine if I could have her with me in it. Shannon Wright, a role model to other women and also a special needs teacher. Her ability to love people that other people struggle to love was really, really special about her. But life doesn't always turn out the way you plan. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm standing in the ocean with a blindfold on and I know that the waves are gonna hit. December 29th, Drew was waiting on a carpenter. His pregnant wife, Shannon, had left him in charge. We hugged and said, I love you. And she went over to hang out with her mom and dad. Soon after, a phone call. Shannon had passed out. EMTs arrived and began to work. And I remember just walking over, hugging on her mom for a moment, and then just praying in that moment, God, I trust you. The 29-year-old rushed to St. Francis. Doctors performed an emergency C-section, and Asa James sent to the NICU. The nurse came out and grabbed me and said, hey, we want you to, we need to go back downstairs. And I knew at that point um, what I was about to hear. The ER doctor in tears. He said, there's no easy way to say it. We did everything we could, but she's gone. After a 72-hour scan on Asa's brain, doctors found little to no activity. The name Asa means healer, and the first time I saw him, I knew we had named him perfectly. In the span of five days, this 28-year-old's wife and son in heaven. He fought hard, but at the end of the day, um, he went to be with his mom in the perfect place to be a mom. The couple had tried to get pregnant for years. I remember her telling me in that moment in our bedroom, she said, regardless of what happens, we're parents in this moment. And she was right. And she got to be a, a mom, um, just not the way we wanted it. Their miracle expected February 10th, but Wright says God's plan changed. It wasn't supposed to be that way. Jinx's First Baptist Church youth pastor isn't mad at God. He knows his wife and son's death has inspired others to believe. When it's bringing a lot of people back to one loving each other, but also loving, loving God. An angel Wright met in college, now following him on a walk of tragedy. There's no doubt that she's, she's watching over me and our family. A love, the definition of perfect. Years he'll always cherish. Now faith is everything Drew Wright needs. And even though it feels like this is the absolute worst, I know it's not. And I know that he's got bigger plans for this story and that he's gonna do something through my wife and my best friend's story and my son's story that otherwise couldn't have been accomplished. In Jinx, Katie Wisely, Two Works for You.